Xena Warthog Princess with another Vera Bradley viewer requested video. That's a mouthful, try and say that fast. Um, anyways, Little Mouse requested to see the Vera Bradley Little Hipster next to the Mini Carson. So here we are, we're gonna take a look at them. This Little Hipster is a factory style in the Elderberry microfiber. And the Mini Carson is a retail side item. And this is in the classic navy velvet material. Uh, but this is the only Mini Carson I had. I do have several Little Hipsters. But let's look first at the Little Hipster overall. The first is you have this front zipper pocket. It zips single zipper all the way up and around. And it opens up. So inside this pocket, you have a little bit of space. It's maybe one finger width of gusset to it. It has nothing on the front. This is the interior pattern, by the way, for the factory style elderberry. The retail side elderberry had mostly the moon blooms, so circular dots, but anyway. In here you have a built-in wallet. So you have four card slots, two here and two here. And then behind that you have one big slip for a cash drawer or whatever you wanna put in there. Um, but there you go. So big, the pocket is very accessible, so if you're wearing a crossbody, then you can definitely get in there. Um, I haven't tested the medium set piece. I think it would be too wide for this, but the small set pieces from Jujubee would fit very nicely in here. Zip IDs fit great. Um, the Metro from Lug, the Tram would fit well in here. A lot of different things like that. Um, you could put a splits in here, but the splits is a little thicker. Because it's a smaller around, it would still fit in this pocket if you didn't want to use the built-in wallet. So there you go. Um, and I typically don't. I, I have maybe once, but not to its full capacity. So if I'm traveling and I want to take just a couple of items, I might use that. But more so, I just take a zip ID and use that and grab and go. And I can leash it to my neck and put it inside my shirt. So a little more protected. Um, but I just don't carry everything around when I'm in that environment. But this bag is a great bag for travel, actually, because it's small and it can pack in your suitcase and then you can pull it out at your destination and use it. But this one has a nice wide microfiber strap with metal fittings on both ends. This end is sewn on at the bottom and the other end has the loop fixture, obviously for sizing variability there. On the back of the pocket, it is um, just a pocket, a slip. Some versions of the Little Hipster have a magnet on there and some do not. I don't know what determines which version you get, but just know that some do, some do not. And then the middle is just a zipper pocket. You have a zipper privacy pocket on the back and that is it. But it has a decent amount of space in there, a good inch and a half or so. So there you go. And then I just store the straps. I just fold them up and then put it either in this inside or just tuck it into that back pocket so they store kind of kind of flat-ish. Yeah, so that's that one. And then looking at the Carson, the mini Carson, it is Carson style, so you have that flap on the front. It is a snap, magnetic snap closure, so it does find its home pretty well. And it is reinforced with like this faux leather behind there, which I think is smart because I always have a fear that those strong magnets will pull the snap out of the fabric. But this front pocket is a one big pocket. It's a good size, like here's my 6S Plus phone that fits in there very nicely actually, and has a little room to spare and move around, but it would be a secure quick access place. Um, it is lined with the Night Stars, which is the interior of the Holiday Owls from a year or two ago, but it goes really nicely with the Navy actually, I think. On the back, you do have one slip pocket. This one does have a magnet in the, the middle, which is nice, a nice hidden magnet, but it's just a big slip pocket, covers the whole back panel of the bag. And size comparison of that pocket wise, pretty much the same size. And then inside the bag, you have a zipper pocket on the back and two slip pockets on the front. And the bag itself has a little more capacity overall than the little hipster. So there's the, the width and depth of it. It is significantly thicker, but it is slightly smaller dimension. So when it's full, like you go by these seams right here. So the little hipster, if I was to line up like seam space, it's roughly the same width when it's, you know, stood up. It is slightly shorter in height than the Carson, 
but the depth is where the Carson really gets, it's like double the capacity for that reason. Um, but yeah, this does have, this version has the awful metal zipper on the top. That's just, you know, one of the very things we had to suffer through, but it's, it works pretty well. Most of the time you just have to be smooth with it and it'll open. <laughs> um, these two fittings here on the end, you have a removable strap. And this mini Carson did not come with a separate short shoulder strap. It just has the one long, and this is like a faux leather. It's kind of plasticky, actually. Um, so not my favorite strap. So I would change this strap out and use this with a different one. I actually haven't used this bag really, but um, I have some other straps and I have the short shoulder straps from the regular Carsons that also work with the mini Carson, go figure. But you can completely take these off change the strap, put something else on, whatever you like. So there you go. And these aren't my favorite clasps either. They're just kind of cheapy. Anyway, um, there you go. I definitely don't like this plasticky strap, so I for sure will use something else with this bag. But I have the exact same bag in the regular size Carson. So I, I have cannibalized straps built in ready to go. But there you go, side by side. Hopefully that answers all your questions. And if not, please let me know and I'd be happy to take another look for you. Thanks. Bye for now.